welcome back to my channel so today i have a really exciting video that i actually was re like someone requested for me to do it as opposed to normal videos where i just do whatever i want so that's very exciting and this video is going to be about designer dupes i know that that's kind of a sensitive topic to some people some people are really against them and they're like oh my god knockoffs how could you other people are like who cares i'm kind of like in between slash more on the who cares side because i really don't care that much i obviously own a lot of real designer items but as i'm about to show you i also own not real designer items um my thing with not real designer items is that i really like to buy them if i'm considering buying the real thing and i'm not sure if i want to spend that amount of money yet so for a lot of these things that i'm about to show you i in the past had the fake one, I, like I had to repurchase them after, because usually after I get the real one, I get rid of the fake one. But I had the fake one before to see if I even would wear it. And then if I did wear it pretty regularly and I noticed that I actually really enjoyed it, I would get the real one or like ask for the real one or whatever. Um, so that being said, that's how I feel about it. I don't know, don't get offended or do, I don't know what to tell you. A lot of people get really offended about this and think that you're super like tacky and cheap if you buy knockoffs to do whatever you want guys i don't care like my personal opinion is i have some and i don't have some so there you go whatever it's your life so i'm just gonna get right into it and i'm gonna start off with jewelry that's what i got most of and then i have one it's all accessories oh well except for this um yeah okay, so i'm gonna start with like the most popular items first like the ones that i'm pretty sure most people want to see I can't figure out where any of my stuff is okay so the first one that i'm going to show y'all is actually um an Hermes bracelet so this is mine can you see that I don't really know how to I'm gonna do like I'm gonna insert a clip two of the two of them next to each other and this is the real one it's the H click clack bracelet it's just white and it has rose gold and you like push it together and then push the little H up and it opens so like I said this is mine and then I ordered this one on Amazon it came in this little box and then in this little bag i actually did a poll on this on my instagram to see if people could tell which one is real and which one is fake and i'm pretty sure it was almost half and half and that's crazy that just means it's really good so this is the amazon version again i'll show you them side by side on like a close-up without me in the background and this one also has the same thing where you press it in and then like push the clasp it's supposed to make it easier to open if you're opening it by yourself so honestly so similar like so similar it's insane this one the real one is obviously heavier and feels more durable and better quality but the price difference is absolutely insane i think this one was like 20 bucks and this one hold on actually i will tell you exactly because i have this information the price difference is absolutely insane obviously i would not get the fake one wet or anything like that because it probably would tarnish but the real one was 640 dollars, and the amazon version is 23.99 so this is an example of one of the ones that I got the fake version and then saw how much I wore it and then ended up asking for it for Christmas and then got the real one. So honestly, very, very, very good dupe. And I'll show you more detail again in a clip really quickly. Okay, so the next thing is another pretty highly requested one and that is this one's mine is kind of old and a little bit gross <laughs> i need to get it cleaned but it's my david yerman bracelet i have this one it's just a cable and then it has pearl and it has silver and gold or white gold and yellow gold and so this is one i have and then this is from amazon it just came in this little bag and just for transparency, when I got it, one of the little pearls had fallen off and I had to hot glue it back on. But it, this is amazing. Like this is such a good dupe, honestly. It looks almost exactly the same. It's obviously a little shinier and that might be just because mine is older and I wore a lot. And the pearl did fall off, but I glued it back on. And it's actually pretty heavy and it's the same kind of thing as the regular David German. You like can adjust it but it does feel like if you adjusted it too much, it'd probably break. So this one I feel like is good, but 
you can definitely tell a quality difference. So the actual David Yerman bracelet was $8.25 and then the Amazon version, this one was $8.20. Again, I'll put up close clips of both in a separate clip. The next one I ordered, but I don't actually have the real version of this, like the exact same one. Um, but the next thing I got that I ordered was the Burberry scarf mine looks like this it's the it's a different material I will link it down below also but it's a thinner kind of material um this one is supposed to be a dupe for the cashmere version which is a thicker kind of material um so that's what this looks like honestly I'm shook at this one like it's unreal so obviously it's kind of thin and I, that's it. That's all I got. It's kind of thin. That's it. Honestly, it's really, really good. It is a really, really good dupe. It has the same fringe at the end. It's the exact same pattern. I honestly don't know how these places don't get shut down every day. It has a little thing that just says Italy design, dry clean, made in China, um, cashmere feel. It is very soft though, actually. I was kind of surprised because I thought it was going to be a little crappy. But to give you a frame of reference, the actual scarf that's the cashmere version of this is $430 and this was $12.99. So honestly, pretty here for it. Again, I will put up close pictures. Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna do that at this one because I don't have the real thing. So it wouldn't really matter much to y'all probably, but up close, it's just like this fabric and then it has the trim on the side. So I thought that was really, really good also. Okay, so the last three things are things I actually don't have the real version of like or anything close and the first thing is going to be and this is one thing that everyone asks me about all the time i probably get most asked about this item and that is the gucci belt sorry i'm like looking at this in the viewfinder to make sure you guys can see it so i have this one i actually have another one too that's brown i had the real gucci belt in the larger logo for a long time but it ended up being too big on me so i bought um, a fake one again just because I didn't really wear the real one all that often and I really don't care so I just got I just invested in these because also I'm, my weight is fluctuating so much it doesn't make sense for me to invest in a real one right now um, it is an exact replica like honestly it is so good and this is pretty heavy metal like it doesn't it's not crappy it's not going to break on you most likely watch it break while I'm sitting here doing this but it's really good. It's not too shiny because a lot of times that's how you can tell something's fake. Like with the David German, I was a little iffy because it was shiny, like really shiny. But this, I mean, it's tarnished a little more because I've worn it a lot, but it's really good quality. And then this is the belt that came with it. And it's pretty good too. Honestly, like this, I'm not really good at telling if leather is real or not real, honestly. So to me, it looks very realistic. So that is that. I will put all the links down below for this, but I did not look up the prices because I forgot so <laughs> I'll put it all in the box but I can't like tell it to you right now because I don't know but so that was so the next thing is another jewelry piece it came like this and then also in this little box so this one is one that I also do not have because it is so expensive in real life that it's absolutely unreal and I ordered this and I had originally picked a different one but the ship time was going to be too long so I got this one but it doesn't look as realistic as some of the other ones because I mean I'll show you hold on but it came in this little bag this is the wow the Cartier love bracelet so the reason I'm kind of upset I got this one is because the one that most people have does not have the diamonds because that jacks the price up from 4,000 to like 14,000 so I have the pricing for that so the Cartier version is $14,600 and then and then the Amazon version of this one is $17.99 and then I'm also going to link down below the one that has the actual little screws rather than the diamonds and that one's $21.99 and that one would probably be a lot more believable and it also comes with a screwdriver like the Cartier one does. It comes with a little screwdriver and you like screw it on your hand. I have had one of those like the Amazon version before that actually had the screws and I really enjoyed it. I just didn't like having to unscrew the whole thing to take it off but that this one is this this is probably the least viable one like people probably wouldn't um believe that it was real and also it doesn't screw together like the uh 
real one does so that's the only thing sorry if things look different my camera died well i ran out of memory and bennett went on the fritz because the fedex guy came so i don't really remember what i was saying about the cartier bracelet but i think i had said as much as i planned to so the last thing actually that i'm going to talk about is this t-shirt i don't know if you guys can see hold on oh hold on <laughs> up close and personal so it's this t-shirt this is obviously a dupe for the gucci t-shirt which i cannot spend six hundred dollars on a t-shirt i don't know if that's how much it is i'm gonna look it up and link it down below but i just can't i know i am not really great at taking care of clothes obviously i am better at taking care of my nicer clothes like i have nice leather jackets and stuff but i'm not buying a 400 dollars t-shirt no sorry so i have this one it looks really realistic i'm going to insert pictures of the real one here and then also for the love bracelet i'll put a picture too because i didn't have the real thing um but this is so good i actually got this on etsy i don't know if you guys know what that is but it's like a place where people can sell things they make and i get a lot of stuff off of there so i will link it and then also put pricing for the real one and link for the real one and link and pricing for the this one also okay so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope that this shed some light on designer dupes for you and if you're interested in buying any of these things i hope this kind of helps you out and if you're interested in buying these the way that i do i hope that this helps you make larger purchases in the future or whatever honestly i just hope that you enjoyed this video and i really appreciate y'all all like watching and tuning into my content i'm so excited and i feel like my channel is growing little by little and i'm loving it so let me know if there's anything you guys want to see or anything you don't like seeing because i i can take criticism also so Please let me know. Do not forget to like and comment and subscribe. Please don't forget to comment. That's my biggest thing is I really love comments because I want y'all's feedback. I'm here to, I mean, obviously I'm here to release whatever content I want, but I put it out so that you guys will watch it. So I would love to put out whatever y'all wanna see. So please comment and request things or tell me you do like things, tell me you don't like things, whatever. Tell me about your day, I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> just talk to me because I love interacting with you guys because it's so surreal to me that people around the world are watching what I have to say. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time.